All right, so we're back for another consummate opinion. Uh, Liege here. McBride is not here tonight. Uh, he Joyce. might actually. He does that to me every time. Why are you? Let's let it go. McBride's on here. Likes. Me and Joyce. Um, so uh, McBride may come. I don't know. He said he might show up. It all depends. Um, interns here. Grimace is here. And Show's here. Say what's up, Show. You're, it's weird. Show is the fourth mic tonight. Strange. Uh. Yeah, you talking into it like that isn't really uh, conducive to uh, sp Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. that's better. The well, only all black mic, <laughs> I might add. Yeah, show's got the all black mic to his mouth. Speaking to it, show. And then what's yeah. the Yeah, <laughs> much better. Okay. Uh, let's Can see. You hear me now? So the last episode was the roller derby. Uh, show that. was listened to it. Was it good? Yeah, it was all right. I mean, I'd like to have seen who the drunk fan was. Oh, DF, the guy next to like us. Sounded like a fucking maniac. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was such a big I fan mean, of us. How could you be? No offense to the roller derby, but how could you be that into roller derby? He. If you're banging one of the roller derby girls. I don't know if he was, but he he <laughs> is just Emily's biggest fan. I think she might have said that. Yeah, she did. She did. Wait, yeah. is he the same one who was like yelling for her to marry him? Remember, at one of the first. He was screaming runs, the Someone whole was yelling, time. "Marry uh, me!" No, 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 no. That was a different guy. That was a different okay. guy. Oh, he was screaming the whole time. Susie B. Catastrophe got hurt. Yeah. She was the one who got ejected last time. This game, Just Emily got ejected. So Remember the one I was like, man, this this chick's rugged. Like, yeah. yeah. Is there a big following for the roller, roller derby? Surprisingly, there was a lot of people there this time. What, what, like what a do you lot. mean? What's a lot of people? You can't hear? I got nothing. Again. Weird. Figure, I figured if anyone said that, it would be show, but uh, let's <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah. I, I can hear everyone else. Well, that's okay. No, I can't hear nothing. How about now? Technical difficulties at the moment. Yeah, you 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 mess with that. You make that work. Uh, let's see. So uh, I was kind of hoping it would happen tonight. We're not doing a show next week. Going to be uh, out of town. Going to be in Orlando. Pretty excited about that. We meet you there? Oh, hey, I forgot to call you a dumbass. Thanks, by the way. Oh, yeah. Listen, hold on. That's what's new oh. with me. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll save uh, that for what's new uh, with you. Okay. We'll save that for what's new with you. Um, but, yeah, the next <laughs> episode after that, so I guess it'll be the second week of September, Yeah, Matt Grothy will be on from USF. Used to be the oh USF yeah, quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Right. Matt Grothy he will be on. He did commit to it, huh? He did. Beautiful. Who knows? How do you know him? Just see him at work. He works for J.J. Taylor. Oh, okay. Doesn't I've heard the name, but, you know. Doesn't do anything for you? Uh, he's a Michigan no. fan. He knows nothing about no. football. <laughs> 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 yeah. Speaking of which, college football started tonight. It's a start, finally. Yeah, it's hot football. back here. Oh, my God. Nothing's ever good enough. You didn't bring your sweat rag tonight. Somebody's blocking my fan. <laughs> All right, so we'll start what's new with you. We'll start with that the intern. Happen very often with show. <laughs> no, I'm proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's new with me? Um, well, maybe whoa, 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 whoa. what? Maybe we should do what's new with us because there's a lot new with you. There isn't a lot new with me. Yeah, not really. No, just we have to make a decision by September second, which is next Tuesday. Like an official yes or no, if we want to commit to moving to New York. We have a whole, you know, weekend to de decide, think it over, and figure out, you know, what we're going to do with this house and the car situation and living. Um, so that's really fun. I vote no. You sound extremely excited about this decision-making process. Well, it would be fine, except... You have a week? <laughs> that and Joyce owns this house. Liege. It's Liege, actually, in case anyone was wondering. So we wouldn't be able to sell it. And in this area, there's not a chance we'd be able to rent it out for as much as it costs to pay for it every month. So we'd be losing money on it no matter what. Right. So that's not fun. That's kind of a, a small setback. I at mean, least, uh, at least you could get some kind of income coming in for it, though. It'd be better than just taking off and having an entire mortgage on your own. 
Right. We'd still be losing money on it, though. Oh, absolutely. Oh, are we talking about a huge difference in the mortgage as opposed to what the rent is around here? Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't say huge. Not huge. Yeah, it's not. Probably not I would say you probably end up losing $100 a month. Pro- probably Close to that, yeah. Close but to yeah. yeah. But that's so unfortunate because you have insurance and things. If you didn't have insurance and all that, you'd be good. Yeah. <coughs> Anything that else? That kind of doesn't take a huge but the, the another nip out of what you're going to make. Rentals is uh, maintenance, and you're going to be, I don't know, in New York. So that's going to be yeah. a little bit and of a drive. And anything goes wrong, you're going to have to be. Well, that's that's why the, the goal is to rent to someone who uh, I know or, s- or, you know, preferably someone that I know, if that's possible. That's not to mention like our stuff is going to be in the house because we're not going to be able to pack everything in this house Jeez. to bring it to New York. Hey, you can Are you going to leave your beds in here? You can. Oh, Jesus. No. What? I was going to say, because I might want to rent it out just so I can <laughs> mess up your bed, baby. That's well, you odd. know, furnished places go for more than unfurnished. You might be able to make it up if you keep everything here. Um, people aren't going to live with our stuff. Sorry. You would have to That's not put happening. someone in here that I'm not you talking know. About the bed. Oh, absolutely. Like absolutely. Because look at the kind of people that no. Well, no, I'm saying if he found somebody he knows, you could charge extra if they don't have any kind yeah. of furniture. This place would be trashed. Oh, absolutely. Especially living in New York. <laughs> what is it? Uh, okay. I vote. I vote no. I'm. J- I'm. I don't know. Leaves I'd be about for to it. I have to table. find a job, though. I really well, like the job that the I'm at. Yeah. The two biggest cons are her not having a job to go up there with, yeah, and the rent to this house. You're, you're obviously a double income. Are we gonna air all your dirty laundry on here? <laughs> It's not really like talking all about. personal stuff. It's a little bit too personal. No, we're just. We're not talking about either of our income. You're the one who said that. I just said I have well to Well, no, find but I'm just job. saying, you, you're, if you don't have a job, then, you know, that, that you know, takes away. Because we all. Yeah, because you have other issues that you're doing, you know. Show you know, does yeah. not drink. He didn't drink before he came on <laughs> this little um, podcast. He just has no idea what he's talking about. Uh, yes, a I do. No, a- and he got beat pretty handily at. Uh, no, you beat me. Uh, you know, Why are you gonna no. use handily? I don't know. So what an odd word to use. Pretty. Handily. Dominantly. Well, he was trying to. I mean, you're using handily dominantly. and dominantly when he talking to show. He was by about four inches. Give yeah, or take. I-, I missed that ball by four inches, <laughs> and he won. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. Do you have anything else? Um. Uh. No, just tired. All right, so in the rest of, uh, let's see, for me, what's new with me? Uh, so car officially, transmission's done. Uh, last Thursday was a show where the transmission actually went out on the show. That was fantastic. Well, not on the show, but before the show. That's fantastic. And I am not getting the car fixed. So the options I have in relation to New York are either move to New York or do, for about the rest of the year, do 10-day trips at a time up there. Like, do 10 days up here, like 10 days back, 10 days up there, 10 days back. Is there, uh, so you're going to be split between the two then? Where would you stay? That, I mean, they'd pay for hotel, flight, food, all why, that stuff. Why, would they, why wouldn't they just train somebody for five days and then? Well, because they have to, the, the thing that, the training program there is, uh, it's a 12-week process. It's not like a, it's not a quick thing. It's uh, four months in the back of the house, eight months, or four months. Four weeks in the back of the say, house. Four months in the back of the yeah. house. That's 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 uh yeah. that's pretty intense. <laughs> and then eight weeks up front. So it's like it's not a uh, it's not a quick thing. So their idea is, if you think about it, I mean, the rest of the year, that's a three month process. So, so what would you be switching off with somebody else training the people up there? Is that what you're saying? So no, no, no they they would be training the whole time, but they still that person training doesn't count as an actual manager who was there. That right, is an so ec- that is an extra you'd be body. Like splitting it with somebody else. Kind of, yeah. in a way. So I don't know. I didn't even know that was an option, and that's just for the twelve weeks. Ish, yeah, because the new store opens in October, so it'd be starting in October. Well, the so plan right up, right is up for the to store. The holidays. That that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. You get a New York Christmas. You get to go see the big tree, ball drop, all that good stuff. See, the problem is that's not conducive to the intern and I's relationship, though. Yeah, not at all. Well, I'll look after her while you're gone. What do you think about that? Uh, no. I wasn't really paying attention to... Show said he'll look after no, you while I'm gone. No, I got that. Oh, okay. That's not okay. <laughs> um, but... 
Whatever you guys were talking about, I don't know what would not work for our relationship. Uh, ten days gone. Oh yeah. Ten days no, back. he's gonna do it. He already told me he's gonna do it either way. So that's fantastic too. Oh, that's that's already decided. Oh yeah. He well, already knows he's gonna do it if we don't move. They want me to help. I mean, for them to ask that, I mean, it's it's a big deal. It's not like you know. Well, yeah. I mean, as far as your future with the company, you want to do things like that, yeah. obviously. And then I heard uh, randomly today about some. Uh, uh, that there might be some movement in the uh, Vegas store. Oh, see ya. There's no <laughs> holding him away from that. <laughs> <laughs> then you can go gamble the extra money you make while you're there. That won't be any extra money. He doesn't have extra money. So, now, and here's the thing with the car. If if I we were not to move, then I've been talking to... Do you remember Phil from Applebee's? I ran into him probably... Six months ago, uh, in a uh, shopping center, and uh, he was with some chick and a kid, maybe two. I don't remember. He seemed completely different from what I remember. Oh yeah, definitely like settled different. down and all that. Yeah, good yeah. Stuff. yeah. Um, well, he is a salesperson at Sun. Oh no, at Stadium Toyota, and then Paul, who was one of the managers for a little bit at uh, at Applebee's, is a manager. Oh, he made. He's he's no longer behind the bar. No, 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 no. Okay. He, uh, I mean, he went to, like, AC. Like, he did, like, AC work and things like that. Like, he's fully certified, things oh like wow. that. But he's at Stadium Toyota doing all right. So, uh, called him, just asked about different things. And, like, I, I, for me to put money in the car, I don't know. I hate to do that. I just feel, and, like, I almost know something's next. What's with the mileage? What do you got? 47,000 miles. Yeah, how do you like that? 47,000 miles. 47,000 miles. From what I read while I was uh, researching your car, it seems like transmission was an issue that happened with that car a lot. I did not get a lot on anything else. So. Well, see, that's the thing, that's, though. That's, that's, that's not even a halfway broken in car yet. Well, yeah, you look at it like that, but it's an 11-year-old car. That's so so doesn't matter. It no, doesn't have that many miles. Yeah, it's but all at, miles. at 47,000 miles, a car is how old? Four or five years old? But this car is double the age, so it's just time. That's good. That means it hasn't belts, been ragged on. Belts, hoses, the radiator. That's all That's all maintenance on any vehicle, though. It's also, like, isn't it the basically the same as, like, a Taurus? It's the exact Something same thing. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's just a different Terrible emblem. cars. Hmm. Absolutely. Fall apart like that. Well, yeah, they're not trustworthy. It's a, because it's a Ford product. I'm just saying... Right, but they're wise. not trustworthy. Well, Money-wise, no. it doesn't make sense. You should have bought it in the first place, but, you know, that's... Well, well, he makes a lot of decisions like that, but we're past that and at the point where the car no. doesn't work. So <laughs> he could put the money into it with the chance that something else could go wrong. I just have a really bad feeling it. about it. Oh, I mean, uh, if you're in the position where you can get another vehicle, absolutely. Because, because with any vehicle, when one thing goes wrong, usually you're right. Other things follow. But with low mileage like that and what I researched online as far as powertrain it seems like that's going to be your only issue with this kind well, of I got a little bit of an oil leak well I mean that's that could be a that could be a gasket. gasket I mean that's that, you know it depends <coughs> I mean, it could be a, a valve cover gasket which is about twenty dollars and an hour to replace aren't your o2 sensors o2 messed up Did you say r2 o2 yeah d2 r2. no r2, r2 yeah r2 we, we have those at work got a r2 the filter or the fryers oh, there's about four three or four on every vehicle Depending on the O2. O2 sensors. Yes. And uh, to replace that, it's 30 to $40 and maybe 20 minutes of your time. Well, I'm my my thought process was is that, you know, I was talking to Phil and he can, he'd be able to get me into a, a brand new Tacoma four door truck. Uh, yeah, issue number two. But what? Like, <laughs> well, you're going from Ford to Toyota. You, I mean, what's next? Kia? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you you just you just you're just filling up that junkyard down the road. I'm telling you. <laughs> Toyota's last. Oh yeah. Ta Toyota's supposed to be really good. Of course, it? yeah, absolutely. Well, okay. <laughs> what would you say is a reliable? No, car? I need to get a sh uh, Silverado or a uh, Sierra. GM That's what product. I need. That that uh, covers a lot. So that's not just a Chevy. And uh, just just to let you know, Chevy truck is the longest lasting truck on the road. It's not a bullshit commercial. It's legitimate. Actually, that's all I remember from the commercial. So even because it's legitimate. Wow. Well. I mean, look at my '86. It's still alive. Where is it at? Uh, outside of Gainesville. 
It's uh, taking a breather. It's in a retirement home right now. <laughs> It'll be hey, resurrected in a few years. What's the deal years. with Toyota? Is that only because you know someone who might be able to get you a little better deal? That would be it. I don't and have a problem also, with Toyota. You're also like 6'12", so uh, well, Toyota's yeah, going to be an issue with well that. Well, no, see, here's another thing, though, is I was looking at leases and things like that, and, and my issue is the insurance skyrockets with a lease like w with what i have my limits and things like that for insurance mm -hmm. what you need to have a lease i mean i could get a but four it's door gonna it's going to shoot up regardless because you're going to have a vehicle payment unless you pay something no it won't because my you're payment not making, you're not making payments on this car yeah exactly if you if you it, have if to get full coverage you have to have full coverage if you're making a i already have full vehicle. coverage on my car uh, yeah but comp so collision bodily everything yeah and how much is your monthly payment well, Again, for financials, what's for both? Guy? What's your life story over here? <laughs> well, yeah. How much is your monthly you payment? Write down, for you both of ours, I don't know what mine guy. is anymore. I have uh, last I so knew, I was paying one ten. But for the yeah, two yeah, cars, full payment. She has a loan on hers. Ours is, uh, it was two sixty eight, but it's now going down to two twenty three. Yeah. Wow. It's like two twenty three a month. I pay like one hundred fifteen a month for mine. Who has a bad record? Uh, it must be mine. That's well, I mean, you've rolled a couple things. Is that still on there? <laughs> no, that's the thing. I don't have any tickets on there. Safe driver on the thing. All oh. that. Well, also, I but that's full coverage on two cars. Uh, full coverage. That's, I got that, and that's about seventy-five dollars more than I pay in my trucks. Well, yeah, but how? Okay, how old's your wife? Twenty-eight. Okay. Twenty-nine. Oh, 29. Oh, I'm geez. twenty. That affects my. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. You still. That's right. Y it'll go down next year though. Yeah, I know when, women. You're, when you're like at 24 or 25. Well, no, That's males is 25, women is 21. 20, 20, women is 21, males are 25. Oh, okay. Because we, yeah, like, to, so we mine like to is fuck still around until we're about 25. If I were going to get my own insurance, it would have been about $300 a month for me to be on my own. Well, yeah, you thing. get a multi car discount, and you got a guy with all the balls that helps out. That brings things oh, down. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I pay like 115 but I'm. Does your wife drive? But I also, for some reason, I think it's credit related because my insurance is Insur always high. Insurance is credit related now. It, it is, but it's like always I've high. had my insurance since I started driving the same company, and I refuse to change it just because of that. Yeah, who do you have? State Farm. I have Progressive, or Shouldn't we have Progressive. Have really great insurance. Then shouldn't it be really low if we both have really great credit? Then. Yeah, uh, your but age well has more to do with your credit than your credit. Yeah, well, but that's the thing; it's progressively credit. going down. Next year, you guys will probably in have March. You guys will probably have like a how much is the car worth? A month drop. How much is your car worth? Um, as it sits, if it Why was running, if it was running on a trade in, three hundred dollars. If it was running on a trade in, Sold. they would give me eighteen hundred bucks. I looked online, Kelly Blue Book trade in, good condition, like good condition is like twenty four hundred bucks. I could private sale sell it. It says about thirty five. See the good selling point you have with your car is forty seven thousand original. Exactly. Miles. That's good. well. That at the place I had it at, they the wanted to give me four hundred bucks for the oh, car. Yeah. Why I told you they'd give you something for it. I didn't Listen, say they're gonna give you a lot. Yeah. Why don't you just park it out in the street, leave the key in there, I'll steal it, dump it in the lake. Where are you taking Listen, it? Listen, not where's it going? Running. And you and you can where's what are you gonna going? push it to the lake? And I, you can big ass ain't gonna push it out of the driveway. Let alone and you can put a claim lane. in, and, and maybe your insurance will pay you something for it. Hopefully they won't listen. Well, one of the seven <laughs> listeners. <laughs> oh, no, there's more number. than that. Actually, on the the yeah, last listen, show, the, la the last couple of times I looked, there were seven likes on it. It was ridiculous. What are you talking about? I looked what, it up on one YouTube of the episodes. Yeah. Oh well, on the last show, I know Facebook wise uh, that we put up from I the roller derby. I don't, I don't do that. It had 390 likes. Oh, you have a or not 390 likes? I shouldn't say. Seen by three hundred and ninety. You have a Facebook page for the show, of course. Oh, really? The show's got everything. I, I don't. The, I don't, this show. I don't do yeah, that show. That show four inches tapped yeah. out. That's it. Well. Uh, I don't do the Facebook gimmick, so I, I really don't know anything about it. Yeah, I don't know how to tweet. I'm out of Facebook. I'm because that might all of our stuff goes from the Facebook directly my onto previous, Twitter. My previous employer, uh, I, I won't mention names. Actually, people were terminated due to things that were done on social media. At the GB. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Certain. Certain. Uh, That's why I don't certain, put where I work on my certain, Facebook page. Uh, the gay bar. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the gay certain, bar. Certain, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it at that. Uh, <laughs> certain uh, uh, dollar figures were put up on the site. And, uh, see you. Bye bye. That sucks. Yeah. Now, what's new with you? It's a long. What's new with me? Uh. Yeah. Uh, why you go to me? I thought show was next. What the hell? No. You. No. Oh, well, 
kind of. Oh, now you want to go counterclockwise. He has to be the fourth person to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I got you. I got you. It's all uh, about four. Let's see. This this will make you happy, show. I'm 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 looking into buying a pole saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a seven foot. So uh, <laughs> if you'd like to borrow it for Halloween, you know, just to yeah impress the wife. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can get you one at the auction. No, this one. This one's an attachment. <laughs> Kind of like a uh, an accommodator. <laughs> exactly. Uh, why don't you buy one of those? I think it'd be an interesting like thing to like have for the show. But uh, other the than that, show's just looking for you to leave the ten days so you can use your bed with it. Yeah. No. I want the massive tutorial, but you got to get the what super size. Well, super size massive tutorial. Yeah. Why is that? Why not? Because y'all think I have a four it's like stick. A, yeah, because it'll be a. It, he wants a massive one, so it's like a hot dog down a hallway. That's what uh. he's looking for. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't have uh, much else going on. Uh, oh, Scott's coming down this weekend. Okay. I haven't seen him in a while. He's bringing the whole family down for the holiday weekend. All six? Yeah, seven. 27 kids. You yeah, it's a lot. Uh, he's got a, a five year old girl, a two year old girl, and twin infant girls. So he's he's got a full plate. Well, he really wanted a boy. This was the situation. Had a girl. It is what it is. Second try, had a girl. Third try, it's got to be a boy. Nope, twin girls. <laughs> Very nice. That's intense. <laughs> and that's the end of that. No boys for him. No soup for you. Adopt. No, no. Four, come on, four. You got two. Could you imagine twice? No. Could you imagine no. twin infants right now? Uh, No. Yeah, it'd, it'd just it'd be ridiculous. We lost twins before we had the other ones. Oh, really? So we we we, we uh, yeah we're we're good with two. Two is yeah. almost too many. Yeah, right. You're gonna have another one. No, I'm not. I'm blanking, bro. I'm, f I'm shooting yeah. blanks. Trust me. What? How do you know that? Hey, you know it is what it is. I let it ride. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. See, where's the tidy whities No, I let it ride. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pulls it out. Put it in my mouth. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, show, what's new with you? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, actually, what's new with you? Uh, let's explain that Disney situation. Yeah, well, apparently, was You're it not your terrorist. idea, though? Huh? Was it not your idea? It was your idea, to Wait. my belief. Do I? What well, he said. It was, it was a combo. Your idea. It, uh, we kind and of were agreed. talking about Disney, and I mentioned about parking, and he has the pass where he doesn't have to pay for parking. So we kind of said, oh, well, I'll use your car. I'm like, well, are you sure? He says, they never ID me. And never do. Never. Never at the at Fucking the Fucking ever. Look at him. Look at you. What is it? What's well, no, the there's no face on it. There's no, it's it literally, all it I'm says is. I'm just talking is in general. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you go. <laughs> there's, the card looks just like mine on the front. Except there's a red stripe on the bottom. Stripe. That's it. And that means that you have an annual pass. You don't pay for parking. So this cunt, I need to see your ID. Wow. Uh, you, four inches went to two inches. I said, ah, mm, it's in the trunk. It's in my, in my luggage. You serious? You need my ID? Well, hold on. What's your birth date? Just give me the fucking card back. It's not <laughs> mine. <laughs> I didn't know your birthday, and I didn't know your fucking email address. So she took it. That bitch confiscated the card. I threw the twenty dollar bill at her. Why? Is that what car parking I had to is? Pay, pay the fucking parking. Yeah, it's seventeen bucks to park now. Jesus. And when she handed it back to me, I just went whoosh, threw it, and one of the dollars went out the window, and I I lost it, man. I was so mad. I guess really I was trying to not pay for the parking, but yeah. I've whatever, seen you man. Get, I've seen you get heated a few times. It's uh, entertaining. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, I'm glad they didn't escort us to the front and tell us to turn around. But as long as you can get your card back, we're good. I mean yeah, seventeen dollars or your kids pissed off at you for like a eh, year. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think the seventeen dollars worth. Nah, it. parks closed today. We gotta go home. Look, do they? They never ID me ever. They never do. We've never been stopped at Disney. No, what's you gonna happen is we're gonna go get the card on Wednesday when we go, they're and then we're gonna go ID. right in without ID. No, they're not gonna ID me. Trust They've me. They've never asked for the ID. Listen. Universal, they do. I'm pretty because we made sure when he said it. And I said, hey, that's a terrible idea because they are gonna take the card away from him. And he goes, no, babe, it's okay. We never get carded. It'll be fine. And then it did happen because I'm right. Um, at Universal, they always do. Disney, not once ever. 
Well, this lady, the car in front of us, they did not. She did. She took the card. Do they scan the card? No. No, they just look she, at it. She took the card and then she went inside. She may have. You can't fucking hear me screaming that loud. You got the mic like eight feet away from you. No, that's like four inches away. <laughs> it is. It so is. All right, go back to the two inch. I scenario. thought. I thought that she was scanning it inside. She may have looked it up and said, you know. What's your date of birth or something like that? I don't know. Once you said did you, you didn't your have your ID, that's probably what happened. You, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, but they never asked up for ID, right? So I didn't no. come in. Th- if I'd have thought there was any chance in hell, what's your birthday? And I, I don't know. I don't I'll know just have to give them. you a questionnaire. And it, well, Shh, my fuck it, it, it expires it. on Saturday, exactly. so it doesn't matter. Well, next Saturday. We're not renewing ours either. It's in, it ends it's in November. Yeah, I just can't s- see renewing it. It's going to save us $45 a month. Because we've been sneaking my three-and-a-half-year-old that looks like she's six for the whole year. <laughs> we have to keep her in the thing because she's three-and-a-half feet tall. So they think they know she's not three. Oh, you never know. Anyways. Kids so are big these days. I was going to say, that my, was a my Disney daughter trip. looks That's like That's the only thing new work. Um, I don't know. I haven't had any accidents. Bullshit. Not not since that one. We yeah, no, about no, that. We oh, you already about talked. That. I thought you said that was like recent. Like no, it was week. about a month. No, and he actually uh, made a joke about it. He uh, he said that if it was four inches farther away, he would have oh, yeah, missed yeah, the yeah. guy. Yeah, I missed it by four inches. So it's all good. All right. Well, we'll start with uh, the same thing we always start with. And this was this was from towards the beginning of August. Parents charge after baby dies in hot car. Ev- every week this happens. Yeah, to every the single week. Uh, let's see. This one, North Carolina. Infant is uh, dead after being left in a hot car last month. Now his parents are under arrest. Uh, police say Clay and Robinson. Those are the last names. Well, hold on. We'll play it. We'll play a DeGaff game. We'll play Are They Black or White? Cherie Taisha Clay and Shaki Duquan Robinson were arrested Monday. All right, let's play the game. Okay, <laughs> show's got his hand raised. Uh, black or white? <laughs> fucking black <laughs> okay it's gotta be they definitely are uh police say clay and robinson uh. returned home july 27th with the victim and other children but did not remove the infant from the vehicle for approximately two hours and how else you can tell what's the baby's name uh i i don't have a name they usually don't release infant names oh uh, well it, it'll be the baby's last name will be different name. than the mom's and the other kids will be different than the, there'll be three different last names yeah, yeah, yeah actually i don't know her name she's a black lab and i just always call her shanane or shaniqua or i really <laughs> don't know what her name is they've had her for like a year <laughs> so it was a uh, it was a four week old was oh. discovered by his aunt and rushed to the hospital where he died four weeks seriously yes. that's ridiculous well, I, that's i mean i uh, they left the, it the in umbilical the car, cord or? is still on in four weeks what the hell is happening here? That's ridiculous. I mean, four weeks. I can't even. My wife didn't even put the baby down for like a month. <laughs> four weeks and then leaving it in a car. I don't know. Well, I mean, are we going to talk about the uh, Uzi situation? The what? The nine-year-old with the Uzi. Oh yeah, that's how uh, I got that. Yeah, for oh sure. God. I just want to make sure. Do you see the video? No, I didn't. I can I can picture it. I don't need to watch it. They don't. They don't show it. They show. They they show. When we'll wait till you bring it up. And talk Can about I know it. what we're talking about? Can we do that now? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Well, I, I got to. Don't, I didn't don't mess to, him up. I He's didn't mean to screw up your whole night. Yeah, you just look at him. He's. Uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, I can summarize it. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you start us off? Well, it happened in Arizona. His nine-year-old little girl was at a shooting range. Shooting instructor gave her an Uzi. He allowed her to shoot one shot. She shot, did a good job, proud of her. He said, all right, unload this son of a bitch. And she unloaded it, fully automatic, unloaded it, went backwards, shot the uh, the instructor, instructor dead. I, s- I, I will say this. It wasn't backwards. I saw the video. It was, was it sideways? He was leaning in on her side, and she was like this. And then, it, and when it kicked, uh, you saw it, and then they cut the video because they don't want to show you her doing right, it. Right, right. Literally, the gun kicked sideways right to his face. Well, How as old? So she loaded nine it right at Nine-year-old. Was the instructor, is that like her dad? Or no, he was an instructor. He was the instructor Mr. at Random. this Wasn't shooting she, range. Doesn't she shoot there, though? Like, she knows how to shoot? Yes, but, but I mean, anyone who's shot a fully automatic uh, gun before knows the difference between a single shot and unloading a clip. 
is a completely different backlash, a completely different stance. Everything so she is just done didn't let go of it. And it she didn't know how to. Just, she didn't know how to I control saw it. Her hand literally just, it just it was almost like it, w- it went right to the side. I don't you know do why it went sideways. Because instead of back. Because when you do one shot like that, okay, you got you get a little bit of a recoil. When you unload, that gun is going to go whatever way she is weakest, and that's how it ended up getting there. And she shot him right in the face. Was it the face? I don't know. Well, yeah, well according to the video, it had to be in the face because he was leaning in right next to her, like watching. Can you and imagine helping. being a nine-year-old girl and shooting somebody? She's going to have face. to live with that. Though. That's going to be yeah, that's gonna be hard. trauma yeah. for but the rest she, of her life. But uh, she probably. Being a nine-year-old and and being allowed to shoot an Uzi, to me, means either the parents were completely irresponsible, which I doubt. She probably knew a lot about weapons and and what they do and and respected them a lot, but it was just too much power for a a kid that young. I don't know what an Uzi is, but... It's a small... No nine-year-old needs to know how to shoot a gun like that. It's a fully automatic gun. And you hold no it in your nine-year-old hand needs and to be shooting a full any gun, like let alone a fully automatic well, gun. No, I understand showing your children how to, you know, if there was an emergency, I don't. how to protect yourself. Like, I get it in some situations if you, I don't know, if you're really rich and people are always trying to rob you I or steal no, you. You see, I, I, I think my, my opinion is, is they need to know and respect what a, what a gun is and what a weapon is, and they need to know how to use it. And they need to but they I wouldn't be showing them how to, how to shoot an Uzi not an and an not a fully automatic, automatic gun. gun. I mean, you know, something small, you know, maybe a twenty two, just just so for them to understand what it is. And not at nine. Huh? Not at nine, though. Oh, at my daughter's no. probably going to be before that. <laughs> I mean, I can't hand I her an automatic. No, 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 no. Not what a fully about automatic a 4T4 no. Magnum? A what? Ah, uh, 44 Magnum. Oh, see what, see what he did that's there? Like, no, hey. that's, that's still a little bit too much for her to handle. Hey, it's eight-year-old daughter. Here's an AK-47. No, this yeah. will help you in life. No, see, that's... Well, I could see 12 I mean, or 13. Yeah, but I'm but sure even the then, parents were gun enthusiasts, and, and they just, you know, their daughter wanted to do it, and she'd been around guns, and they were probably like, okay, let's give it a shot. And, and this is what happens when the instructor isn't instructing Careful. correctly. Well, it's I like mean, the one video on YouTube where the one guy's talking about gun safety in the class and he shoots himself in the leg. Yeah. You've well, seen that black dude with dreads? It's like an old school video. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, being an instructor, you know the w- what a fully automatic is going to do as far as a recoil and as far as the amount of power compared to just shooting a single bullet out of a And gun. you would think that he would not have stood to her side when she did start to unload. Correct. And that's that was mistake and, and, number And the two. fact that it, it was almost... When you look at it, it's not like she did it on purpose, but just to see how far the gun went right sideways, and then it cuts the video. It won't show you him dying. Why well I, I posted that story. There's no point in talking about it twice. Oh, hey, did uh, did you hear? I don't know if you were on the show. I'm not sure yet. Or if I'm, I think it was before you came on, about in Oklahoma, how some of the gun ranges there are getting liquor licenses. No, I did not hear that. Yeah, some gun ranges in, like, Oklahoma and Texas are getting liquor licenses. But if you go to the bar first, you, you can't, can't go shoot. shoot. Can't shoot. Right. But you can go shoot, then go to the bar. But, I mean, that opens it up for – because they scan your license, and it won't allow you to go in more I than one place. I remember hearing that somewhere. Was that from you guys? Probably, yeah, because we, we talked about it. I, don't I, see I just I think don't that's, a, that's a bad idea. Yeah, what's the point? I mean, what's a, why not just open a bar next door? Kill two birds with one stone at one place. But right, I they could just leave yeah, and who go to a different they want to go get drunk and shoot? Right, I mean, like, I've gone shooting, and, you know, we've had a, you know, cooler in the back after we're done, and we should, you know, drink a couple beers or whatever. But I, I just, usually when you go out shooting, you don't say, okay, let's go get hammered-ass drunk right afterwards. It's, I don't know, it's just something that's never really crossed mm-hmm. my mind. I would think that it would, not to a, like, large extent, but make it a little bit safer because they do scan the IDs. So if somebody sh- goes to their bar and they're like, oh, hey, I want to shoot. Well, you know what? You can't shoot here because we know you were just at a bar, obviously, because you're in the same building. Well, they could pull a Disney production, though, and then not just show the, oh, I, d- I don't need your actual obviously, ID. Obviously, that didn't work scan out the, uh, very Scan well. the license there. See, I'd be, I'd be more worried about knowing that everyone like that left that bar had a weapon in their vehicle. Well, after the fact, that could be more of a problem because well, you went shooting, saying. adrenaline's higher, and then you go drinking, drinking alcohol, and cause someone you get an accident. Someone cuts you off on the way home. But that doesn't stop that person from leaving the gun range and going to a different bar. But they're just making it too convenient. It, it, it I, I really see, makes I no see sense. Too much, if I someone see too wants much, to do uh, something, then they're going to do it, whether it's too convenient much, uh, or not. I see too much, what I'm looking for, not responsibility, uh, liability on the, on the part of the range because... 
they can be liable for a lot of different things to dealing with alcohol. So, I mean, if the person drinks, leaves the bar, is drunk, hits somebody, then decides to shoot them and kill them, uh, there could be a liability situation right there. If somebody left a gun range, went to a bar and got drunk, then and the gun range is that was prior before that was before, I mean. Okay, if they were at the gun range and then went to the bar, I mean, the gun range was prior and before still. It's Correct, but then the gun range is safe. They're not liable for it. You're saying if they went to a different establishment to Correct. drink. Correct. Okay. But if it was at the same establishment, you know, it just seems like there's too much risk for the reward. I don't think it has anything to do with the guns, though, because they obviously can't. They're going to drink if they want to drink after they shoot. Well, yeah, I understand not. that. They're going to drink regardless, but no, I'm just I saying it's, saying. It's, yeah, extra, no. it's extra, you know, liability, liability on their gun range. I mean, that just, it seems pointless. The risk is higher than the reward, I think. Hey, this little side discussion, though, it, it got me to actually put some stuff online, finally. I try to keep up during the show, try. Um, but back on the whole uh, the heat stroke thing with children, this was from 1998 to 2013. There's been 606 child vehicular heat stroke deaths. During from 98 to 2013, 51%, which is 312, child forgotten by a caregiver, 29% child playing in unattended vehicle, that was 177, 18% child intentionally left in vehicle by adult, that's 111, and then 1% circumstances unknown, that was only six. It's a high percentage intentionally, like purposely killing. Yeah. Did you hear about the one? Uh, I believe it was local at, at a at a pharmacy where the lady called nine one one because she was unloading groceries or something. Had the kid in the car. The kid had the keys. Locked the car with the kid in the car, and she the kid had the keys and didn't know how to unlock the door because it was an infant, I believe. And uh, she called nine one one and said, "My kid's in the car. It's hot. You know, I can't get the keys. I don't know what to do." No, I didn't hear it. And the well, the 911 dispatchers mm -hmm. getting in trouble because they said, "Well, we can't really do anything except break out your window," and so I guess that was pretty much the end of the 911 conversation. So off-duty police officer calls 911 back and says, uh, "Can someone come here and break out the window? Uh, uh, you need to send, you know, emergency services. It's you know 108 degrees outside, and there's a fucking kid locked in the car." And this 911 dispatcher just could have cared less. The original one. So now they're being reprimanded and probably going to end up getting fired for it for not sending out emergency services because he thought that the kid was not in distress at the time. If she was unloading groceries, wouldn't her trunk be open? That was the problem. The kid was in the car, had the keys. She was, she was loading the groceries from the CVS or wherever she was at into the trunk. Kid was in the car, locked the car. I mean, don't most cars have that feature where you can push the seats down and get in? Well, well think, once you I close what, the trunk. I think what happened is she closed the trunk not realizing that the oh, kid unlocked Oh, and the then keys. she was locked out. And then out, she was yeah. kind of freaking out. Which, you know, you would think that the 911 dispatcher would be like, all right, I'll bring out the you know fire department and all well, that. Yeah. I mean, anyone can break a window. the cop yeah, out there. They got the yeah, stick. It was, but it was, a, it was an off-duty officer. He was confused why 911 wasn't you know, bringing out anybody. Because even if someone, even if a random person broke the window out, the kid still needs to be looked at. Even if the kid was only in the car for 20 minutes, sitting in 100 and something degrees, that's, you know, I would want my kid looked at. Well, I'd hate to have to break out a window, but if it was it mine, I probably be, would yeah. if, I, if I knew that I couldn't get no one help. But on top of that, I would want, you know, EMS there to look at her, make sure everything was okay before we left. Because heat stroke doesn't take very long when you're, you know, Figure it's ninety something degrees out. How hot does it get in a car? You know, in the middle of the summer, it gets pretty bad. Again, we should all have chips implanted into us as infants that can only be activated to allow us to have children after passing a government facilitated test. Thank you. That's all. Uh, our last story of the night. It's not that. That's not this one. But I'm just letting you guys know it's about Disney. Figure we could uh, end on a Disney note. Uh, next one here, though, is very local. Actually, someone that was uh, put in a Pasco County jail. Weird. Stripper, this is the title, stripper who Double hung weird. up on cop trying to find her missing child explained, I have to get on stage. Oh, yeah. You got to make that dollar. Florida stripper yesterday hung up the phone on a cop trying to locate her missing 10-year-old daughter because she was due on stage at a gentleman's club. She was... Uh, 
Does it a say the name? Yeah, you're going to love this. It reminds me of Waterboy all day. Bobby Joe Boucher? <laughs> That's white. It's not, though. Really? No. It could go uh, either Bobby way. Bobby Joe? It, that could be that. What is that's she, like, 12? That's like straight uh, She's Louisiana. 29. Uh, cops were summoned yesterday at Boucher's home by the child's grandmother, who reported that the girl had been missing for four hours. The woman told officers that Boucher had left the child at a barbecue up the street as she went to work Wednesday afternoon at the Calendar Girls strip club. I was going to say that's Calendar, calendar Girls. Girl. I swear yeah, to God. What is it? Isn't that up in like either Hudson I know the manager or by there. Spring Hill? It's Hudson. Yeah, yeah. yeah any uh, Spring Hill is Hernando, uh, right there at the line. Nothing's it's before in Lollipops. I mean, not I that mean, I know I where all these are at, but yeah, well, speaking goes, of which. it goes Calendar Girls, Lollipops, and then uh, what is it called? He's uh, such a pro on yeah. this. He's like, yeah. yes, I know exactly where that is, and I know Club what's around on it. On the right-hand side is the I left. see it when I, I worked up to, at the Spring Hill store. I used to drive to Hernando every day for work, so yes. I, mm. I, yes. Mm. Yeah, we believe thing, you. That's the only thing open at 2 a.m. when I'm going to work. Okay. That's fine. Actually, I was they called me the man of the hour when I went in there with Bulldog one time to that uh, Players Club. It was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday. Let me tell you about the talent they have in there at 4 o'clock on a Wednesday. Anyways, I spent about $25, which was probably about the most anyone had spent in there all day. They were so happy and <laughs> sad when I left. <laughs> Their disappointment would have rained even higher when they realized I was not 18 yet. <laughs> so Boucher subsequently contended, oh, wait. Well, when uh, speaking with deputies, Boucher stated, I have, I have to get on stage and hung up the phone. Boucher subsequently contended that she did not hang up on the deputy, but rather just transferred to another caller who was calling her. Wouldn't you assume that that person can wait if you're talking to the police about a missing child? You would assume. That explanation did not fly with cops, who noted that the hang-up prevented them from entering information about the girl into a missing child database. Girl was eventually found unharmed around 9 p.m. At the barbecue? And her mother was... Busted an hour later. Yeah, it doesn't say what time she tried to call though. Well, what you said? I'll she call got my friend Mike and ask him. She got dropped off He's at the a barbecue. <laughs> she Seriously? got dropped off at a barbecue. What what happened from there? You didn't really. Uh, it doesn't like say. She went to work. <laughs> so so someone the kid went missing at the barbecue. Apparently, maybe she didn't come home. No, I showed you that. Jesus. Remember, show sent me that one time, and I and he said something about grilled cheese. Uh. That's your favorite. I'll what never are your eat cheese again. Yeah, yeah, I love that grilled cheese. That gives the word McDouble a whole new uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's meaning. gross. McDouble D's. Uh, uh, I got one here for you. It's pretty funny. In Philadelphia, Philadelphia man dressed as ninja attacks former boss. Very nice. That is awesome. Police in Delaware County say a man was arrested for attacking his former boss with a hammer while dressed as a ninja. I mean, you got to give him A for effort on that. It doesn't have him... A picture of him actually dressed as a ninja here, but Michael Norley Jr. was arraigned on, we on so Wednesday. So not Asian. Uh, no, not Asian. Uh, do you look like the Beverly Hills Ninja? Oh, very not no. Asian. No, the Moon Lake Ninja. <laughs> very nice, Moon Lake Ninja. Uh, let's see. He was uh, arraigned on a series of charges, including attempted murder following the attack early Tuesday. Like the KKK part. I was gonna of say, Lake like ninja. he just he just uh, forgot his hood. That's all. It's not a ninja costume. <laughs> his hood was getting washed. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Investigators say Norley waited outside the home of his target, dressed in all black, armed with a ball peen hammer. Police say Norley attacked, but the victim was able to knock his mask off. Okay, what kind of ninja gets his mask knocked off? <laughs> Again, hood. <laughs> not a good one. Aren't they supposed to have it like wrapped around? Don't ninjas wear like clothy kind of? Yeah, they gets like wrapped around their chin. Yeah. And all so that, how? Yeah. What was he like wearing a Halloween mask? Like what I the said. Fuck is that show? That's. What is that? I can't see you. It, I don't have a very good eyes. It's the manager though. there. Those a uh, picture he posted on Facebook. Somehow they they, they let it slide. But it's uh sounds like a terrible picture from this place, Calendar Girls, which oh is yeah. probably an awful place. They're pretty stanky. Now that's Pasco, so that means it's full nude, full liquor, right? Absolutely. Or, uh, full nude, well, full liquor is well allowed. It's allowed. Now girls are op now, and I, at, the, at most places I've been to in Pasco, it's optional for the the girls on stage. But you usually they usually don't start making the money until the panties drop. <laughs> I'm just saying. I would just need some air fresheners around there when I did that. It's horrible. What, when you drop your panties? Uh, when you <laughs> well, yeah, no, no. See this picture, and trust me, you'll probably need air freshener. I'd actually rather Jesus. get <laughs> I'd rather get stuck in the bar from what was it Hangover Two, where they're in Bangkok, where it's oh like yeah. a tranny bar. Oh, you'd like that part? <sighs> well, I don't know. That's that's pretty. Uh, 
Yeah, seriously. No, sure. he's no, he's gonna go touch himself. Yeah, he's, he's gonna have to go use the bathroom. I already have a short bathroom oh. break. No pun intended. <laughs> Four minutes, right? With the right hand. Yeah. As he's jerking off the microphone. Uh. Put his pinky and thumb to work. All right. Speaking of which, we're you were talking about here. Oregon teen sentenced for carving swastika in ex-friend's forehead, mm -hmm. making him eat cat feces. Oh, yeah. That's like the How glorious you, bastards, The man. things people do in Oregon on uh, Sunday afternoon. You should see this guy. Eat cat shit and put stuff on their head. Yeah, this is the guy who uh, did the carving. That is a beautiful haircut. Kind of kind of far there. Nice. Emo. What was, that, what was that cartoon? Uh, Johnny Bravo? It yeah. looks like Johnny Bravo fucking like spewed on his head or something. The haircut just went straight for the forehead. I used to love Johnny Bravo. Okay, first uh, the first problem is this guy's name's Blue, his first name. That's Beyonce's kid's name. He's 16, and he was sentenced to 11 years in prison for the brutal torture session. That's not gonna. Something last. seriously wrong with it. Yeah, but when he comes out. He's going to end up killing people. Yeah, he'll be he'll be ready to At kill now. At this point already, he's doing something. He told the courtroom that he's very sincerely sorry for the brutal crime. Wait, so how did he carve a swastika on his friend? Yeah, what happened, uh, this guy, a 15-year-old uh, a girl, a 14-year-old boy, and a 17-year-old girl spent the night before the February 10th incident planning out the attack on the teen, who was once his best friend. They were lured to the. They lured the teen to the shed where the three other boys were waiting, where three other boys were waiting. I should say. Callback bashed Marion in the head with a crowbar several times, then ordered the teen to take off his shirt. The teen shot him in the chest and crotch several times with a BB gun, before they carved a swastika into his head. The kids then robbed the teen before he was able to escape and get help. Where That's does the cat PC come in? I'm not seeing anything about the cat feces, but it says it in the title. Wait, carved it with what? Like a pencil, a pocket knife? Probably a pocket and some sort of knife. Oh. I mean, it for it to be carved, it's going to have to be an indentation. A pencil is not going to. It doesn't that's, that's say exactly what. I mean, you can draw. Carve it over and over and over and over again. If draw. You, if you run a pointy tip against something long enough, it's going to rip it open. Why would you do that for an hour with a pencil when you got pocket knife? You could just Why would you it. carve a swastika into somebody's head after beating them with a crowbar and I don't know why shooting would you shoot them, them in the, the crotch with a fucking BB gun? Obviously. Proving my point. Thank you. <laughs> now, the boy's, mother, the boy's mother said the scars from the swastika have n nearly healed, though the teen has PTSD and nightmares stemming from the attack. Now... One of the reasons he said he did is because told investigators that the kid who got it carved in his head, his last name's Mirian, called him gay on Facebook and was a bully. Back to the whole bullying thing that we've talked about numerous times. Weird Seriously, he didn't kill himself. Like, no cement truck. Or it yeah, yeah. Uh, ladders, whatever it was. I think things get taken a little too far with that whole bullying and. I mean, the reason that this happened was because I mean, seriously, he was how called many times, gay. How many times have you been called gay in the past week? In the past week, yeah. not that much, but, but in I the past more, more than once, correct? Yeah, and you're hey, still faggot, here. I you mean, know? Yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. I, uh, I don't consider that bullying. I just no one's that called me bullying. gay in the last few weeks. Well. It's it's. I mean, you don't need to. It's not a necessity. Yeah, not even a gay guy is interested in four inches, chief. Right. Yeah, I mean. well, <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. Whoa, whoa, what are you saying? Whoa, wait a minute, whoa. Wait a minute, wait a so there are, are, have you encountered There's any homosexual interest. men that are uh, interested in uh, no. your services? No. Okay. Was this pre-marriage? <laughs> yeah. Pre yeah, you didn't know he actually met his wife through her um, sister, brother? Whatever you want to call him. He's 22 now, I think. I, wait, I was wrong on the age. He's actually 22 He's a she. Tranny? He's hot, dude. He's hot, dude. He is a she. He's hot. I'd fuck her. Asian <laughs> dudes can look. <laughs> I'd fuck her. Uh, no, Asian dudes can look show? like. No, she won't. Oh. But if I why, why won't she listen to the show? Because he just said that he'd fuck his brother, her brother. Do you like Do you like Asian women? So wait, show no. would bang his brother in law. Some people don't like Asian I have no women. No, interest in she porn. looks like one of the the trannies on Hangover. No. Oh come on. He. But more feminine. He. It is a it is Does a man. Does he still have a dick? Yes. Have you seen it? No, because I. Y y that's However, why that's why that's why they appreciate. He has that culture, boobs though. Because you had like two inches on everyone in that culture. <laughs> At least two. At he least has two. boobs though. Like 
Well, congratulations. Go to show. I got tits. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I thought it was a female. That's what and I'm saying. Then she actually... He, she. Well, no, it's scary because they, they very are even even like the manliest the manliest form person. Uh, oh, that's a show shows Asian, breaking out the picture for you. Asian person, they are very feminine, all of them. So it would oh. be easy for them to become. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, it's back. You love it. So no, he has a picture of these it's two strippers' wallpaper. vaginas <laughs> hanging out. Wallpaper. So you would you would fuck your wife's brother. So his brother-in-law. You would fuck your brother. You would fuck your kid's uncle, is or, or schnunkle, wh- whatever you want to call it. He's hot, dude. <laughs> what does that even mean? And the thing she is, uncle. if I didn't tell you about she it, uncle. if I didn't tell you about it, and we <laughs> hold or on, a, hold on a second, a, I'm a little distracted or a here. Knuckle? <laughs> I don't. Know. What would you call it? Uh, if I if I didn't uh, tell you that, and you had any interest in Asian women, an unt? <laughs> I guarantee you, you wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> My aunt. <laughs> And unt minus the C. Are you almost at those pictures yet? <laughs> Is it naked? No. Well, I don't know. You said you'd fuck it. I figured you'd see it naked. Ugh. That's so bad for you to even say that. Uh, would you fuck it, Chris? No. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not in Asian chicks, too. We've had this conversation. But we would have. you? But if it was an attractive dude that looked like a female in general, because that doesn't even matter. Basically Asian what I'm not. saying. He said he would bang oh, now a dude. We're, now we're playing the cover-up game. He no, would bang a dude up. with boobs. Just, would you look. bang any dude you've ever met with boobs? Look. No. It, it's okay. a blank. It's just me saying, look, you if just you didn't know you any better, bang, you would bang something if you didn't know any better, this would be a fucking surprise back at the hotel. You'd be like, Listen, what the fuck? No, because the you would not Apple know. and the hairy knuckles would just be like a giveaway Dude, for me. I'm telling you, that and the fact do you think that they're going to have hairy knuckles when, when they're... Uh, hold on, I'll find a picture. You're not going to... Uh, well, I would never... Well, you know now, so you're going to say no, but if you didn't know, you'd be like, ooh. No, because I do not find any race other than white attractive. Oh, so you're a racist fuck, I see. Call me what you want, but, you know. He's it's racist. Just my, it's just my opinion. You heard it here first. No, that's really not an update. You know. <laughs> that's been around for a few years. There's one thing on here that I'm having trouble finding. I'm well, well, <laughs> well. Must be your penis. Speaking of shows, Dick. Shows, Dick. Uh, let's see here. It's, uh, wh- while you're trying to find that picture. Trying to find something about e- on ESPN here, um, and Michael Sam. Did you hear about that whole thing? Uh, you know the, the gay the football shower player. Thing. Something so about the whole shower deal. Know, yeah. Since you were gone, intern is Chris would not screw a person with a penis and boobs. Show would. Right, I already knew that. Mm. Well, this was officially said, so <laughs> yeah. we have it on tape. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He's still searching. And he's still trying to find it. Oh, for its picture? Yeah. yeah. I like the term shim. I always thought that was really catchy. Like a she him? Yeah. I, I came out, what was it? What did I say? An unt. An unt minus the C. An unt minus the C. Because it's his aunt and uncle, his kid's aunt and uncle. I like the first one you said. What was it? The uh, sh- knuckle. Shunk, schnuckle. 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 <laughs> The she uncle. All right, so let's see here. We've now got. Is it, does it like to be addressed as a female, or does it like to be addressed as a male? I really don't know. She looks so. He looks so much like a female that she has pictures with all these guys around her, and I'm like, dude, do they know it's that it's a girl or that a boy? That is. That's Asian. She doesn't look Asian. It, uh, yeah. Let me see. Is that a new picture? I don't remember seeing that one. No, let me, it's let not. Me see it. Let me see it. Show me a different one where she on. looks more. I have, yeah, I it's, have it's, it's, it's black and white, and it's not a very good picture. And so about the whole Michael Sam thing, while you guys are doing that. He's hey, the one hey, who made out on television when he got perfect a... Perfect time to talk about uh, anything that is uh, questionable. Uh, ESPN uh, reporter Josina Anderson appeared on SportsCenter to discuss the rookie defensive end, and following a series of complimentary points, she began to talk about the showering habits of Rams players. There were no salacious details, but in order to find out who was who on the team had showered at the same time as Sam, means the question was asked in the first place. That's a dude. Look at the eyebrows. Hold on. There's someone. But that, I mean, even not knowing, if I would have seen that picture, that's a dude all day long. Yeah, what was talking about Same as other Michael pictures Sam's that are misleading. Or no, the whole thing with Michael Sam, no, how they uh, they asked him. 
who or they asked other Rams players who had been in the shower with Michael Sam. Wait, they asked who he showers with? It's the facial features I give it away. And why? Just because, I mean, I love ESPN. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's just hold time out. Are you saying that her brother is hotter than she is? (laughs) I'm just, I just want to know. Is that what you're saying? She doesn't listen to the show. Uh, She does not listen. I'm just saying that. Honestly, you said you'd Most people are probably. The eyebrows do give it away, but she's very feminine. Now, now, if it was sitting next to your wife and you never met either one of them, which one would you go after? One. Which one, if you never met, this is a never met your wife Are we really going to even go there? I mean, but I just want to. Wow, he can't even give you like a my wife. It'd be his wife. I know it. Oh, okay, obviously, I said I would fuck her, just for the fact okay, that okay, it's, it's not her. It's, just it's it. Okay. So anyway, but they asked him. But in him reality, I'm not really meaning that. I'm just saying she look looks at the, like the facial it looks features. Like a woman. No, it does no. That does not look like a woman. It looks like a woman. Grimace so is not pleased with this right now. Not at all. This yeah. is who asking so about Michael, Michael Sam. Sam? So e- ESPN asked. Who uh, Michael Sam showers Other with, Rams basically. players, yeah, about uh, the showering habits of the players. Did that Michael upset why? his boyfriend? No. It, uh, it, I mean, why even bring that up? Why, why, exactly. Yeah, why give a shit? I, I mean, it's... Well, we already he know he's gay. What, what would you think in a locker room if you had a gay teammate? <laughs> what do you mean, what would I think? Well, it was like, unprofessional it of ESPN no. to ask. I mean, I, I, played, uh, I, I, played, I played football in high school, and I can honestly say... Uh, you no, fucked in the ass no many times in the shower. Yeah, there we can't no ask Show this question because we already know what the answer right. would be. But there was mm. no, there was no meat gazing like Show would do. Well, I mean, it just you went there, yeah. you, you, you know, you changed, you took your shower, took your pads off. I mean, no one was sitting there going, "Hey, how's it going?" You know, there was none of that. Hey, and what's that guy's name? Even if this, I know, Sh- no, you know Shannon the school Burke. went to. There was a couple that came out, and uh, there was no kind of. You know, gazing eyes or anything yeah. like that. Wait a second, question. Just little Matt Troy. It's, Shannon, it's, it's just like in the army, a bunch of people taking a shower, and that's all it is. It's Shannon Burke the other day was making a joke about that, talking about it, saying, "Why would he care? What, what's the point about? I mean, he's gay, they know it, but they said, he goes, you know, if it was me, he goes, and I was hanging heavy, I'd just go stand right in front of him and say, hey man, what's up? Didn't and he kill a dog or something? Shannon, sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really like allegedly. Him. So Legend. on well, ESPN's end, play. wasn't it unprofessional of Absolutely. them to ask? And I don't know why they thought that was okay or th- how well, they're, they could they're getting get a lot of heat that. for it right now. They're getting a lot of heat for and it. And who did they ask? Just Rams teammates. Oh, just random. Mm-hmm. Did they get well, responses? They said that like, was what did the teammates? This wasn't, this wasn't ESPN. It was it was a, a single reporter, correct? Reporter. No, who it was works ESPN. For ESPN, though. Because yes. right, I know he er, he he represents ESPN, but it's not like ESPN said. She. Hey, or it, whatever. She What's didn't say, name? hey, go into the locker room and, and start, you know, saying, hey, what is it, you know, what does it Jake, look like? Is it Jake Long? It yeah, but it's Chris also Long. something Chris that Long, was against one his one sexuality, basically. Main basically. guys, he said something yeah. like. Like, they were pointing yeah. him out specifically. So like, I thought we were done with this. Yeah, he said everyone's over, but uh, ESPN, apparently, or something yeah, like yeah, that. So yeah, he yeah, took yeah, a shot at ESPN saying, yeah, he go- they're he goes past it. doesn't matter. They're playing football. Well, that's just the media in general. I mean, like, remember the Ferguson thing we were talking about? I was reading more on it. And every time that I read it, wait, wait, it wait, 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 wait. You can read. Absolutely. That's cute. I wasn't I was expecting th- that. Wow. Wow. This is talking with someone else besides me. I was shocked the hell out of you. What did you finish high school with? What did I finish it with? It was a grade point average. I don't know, like a three point something. I went to college for my last year of high school, so. Yeah, I had like four college okay. classes while I was in Oh, I had like I two I semesters I did, I did done. A, I did a three eight two, so. That was. Um, I had a three eight six. Yeah, that, that surprisingly, you can that school. I had a four point zero. But it was a general. Oh wait, I was point oh four <laughs> above you. What's up, show? I was a four point oh. So. Were you really? Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> Weird. Show topped but it anyways, off with a four. Anyways, back to the Ferguson situation in the media. Wait, they wait, wait, wait. Are they we going to Ferguson? Because no, no, no. Like I'm just no, no, no. I'm just mentioning how the media points out certain things, like like the the gayness of this guy. But they made it a point to say the cop who killed the the white cop. Who killed the black kid? They no, made a point to say it was the was unarmed white. black boy. Well, they made it up. They made it. I'm saying they the made store. it a point. They made it a point to say the white cop and the black kid. But you read That's the next article about listen. a black guy that shot somebody. They didn't say a black man shot this guy. They just made it a point in that Because that's not going to get ratings. That's not going to get everybody well, worked that's up. That's, that's, that's the point of media, yeah. Point. Yeah. It, and unfortunately, it is, even though we think it sucks. That's the only, we, that's the only reason we're talking about it right now. I well, know, no, you didn't see it, but did point. you happen to see what uh, McBride put on the uh, the page? 
something happened in St. Louis, not too far away from that whole thing. Oh, Some I've dude seen that. robbed yeah. the store for like two drinks dude, or something like that and got blasted. On him, though. He he got shot like eight times. Like they two or three of them were when he was already on the much. ground. Yeah, that was pretty that bad. Did, that made things look worse. Yeah. Now they're saying there's uh, an audio. Somebody was on a video chat, and you can hear. It's either four shots and then six, or six then four. But th- you can hear boom, 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 boom. No, we we watched the video no. the other night. What video? Of the dude, not the Ferguson thing. I'm talking about the Michael Brown, the Ferguson. Okay, one. yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. Somebody recorded the shots, and there was four shots, and then a pause, and then six more, or six and then four. Either way, there was ten shots. And we know we got hit with six, but. They were they're making it sound like that meant that he had a chance to think about it. Like in other words, boom, 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 do, 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 and then he went ahead and kept going. I mean, how they're gonna, they're trying to paint it like that's negative, like the cop had a chance to stop and not shoot him anymore. The trigger jam, that's all. Well, think about it. Well, it's he like shot, Denzel in he training day. Shot, say he shot the first six times, right? Well, obviously he, he didn't blasted. hit him every time, huh? and he kept coming, so he, he unloaded. He unloaded the whole clip. It's a it's it's easier to unload the whole clip. I mean, at that at that point, I mean, does it really make he a shot difference? Shot him four times in the arm. Does it really make a difference? Well, you know, if you four shot shots, ten shots. What the hell's the difference? If you just shot him in the head with the one shot, you wouldn't needed nine more. You're not supposed to go for the head. You're though. not supposed. You're supposed to go. You're supposed to. You're supposed to make them uh, 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 not disabled. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Damn it. Yeah, but mobile. Thank you. Yes. If he's already, if he's already attacked him <laughs> and tried to take his gun. Do you think he's going to try to immobilize him, or he's going to? I'm going to put. I'm going to put you down. I'm not well, going to. I mean, if they have a gun or something else like had, that. If he had a weapon, if he had a gun pointed at the cop, no, the cop shoots to kill. Shoot for the but heart. But if he's attacked, like coming at him with a knife or a, in a. In but a that's what that's what he did. He, he, they say that he has a broken orbital bone. Uh, Allegedly. Well, I don't know. Allegedly. Just like every other comment that's did on you see the, Did you see the the cameras <laughs> that they're wanting to put on cops? Like so that they can record when I they get out. I think I might have seen that. The yeah, camera is fucking huge. I mean, it's like six by four. And uh, well, with GoPros and stuff these days, I can't imagine there's not something you smarter you than. Did or you yeah, see but they were showing that that, that there's a, there's like twenty three uh, uh, police forces that use this this one kind, and it's literally the size of like a fucking trail cam. It's huge, and you they put it on the front of their shirt, and it's like you know that shit's gonna fall off if you're running. You know, it's oh something yeah, absolutely. That big. But then you got these little these little guys with their you know their their uh, I've seen them blow their <laughs> people away. Weird. Their uh, uh, yeah. their little uh, bike cameras, you know, that they put on their helmets and shit. They're like the size of a pen. But I've seen them with the, with some kind of camera on their chest and going in the house, and a guy came at him with the, with a knife, and and then shows them shooting him. Absolutely. What's wrong with that? It, no, I'm just saying it. It. I don't know how big the camera was, but. It, just sh- it, it was a good view of everything. You ain't going to be able to lie about what happened. It's right there. Oh, yeah. I, m- I mean, it, it makes sense, but they got to also put in the fact that it's a spur-of-the-moment thing. It's not like the cop can sit there and be like, well, what should I do? It's kind of like, you know, first instinct's going to take over. See, I, 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 had a, I had some people in the hospital today, and I asked them. It was a black family. And I'll be honest with you, I mean, I kind of thought I was going to get shot. No, Rape. I I thought I was gonna get Stabbed. like a negative response wow. about the cop, and you know what they told me? Wow, we really haven't seen that much about that. Kind of heard about it, but like, and I thought it was really kind of interesting that this family that I had looked at and thought, you know, the kids got dreads, the 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 mom and, and I'm the, the racist the one. I didn't. No, psh, no. Jesus. but I th- I thought it was weird that they hadn't really even followed it. They weren't well, really. The thing I mean, not everybody well buys into that in the sense of that's keeping. In a sense, it's keeping racism alive. Well, Stuff like that. The people who aren't buying into it, it's just another hate crime, regardless of whether it's white against black, black against white, rich versus poor, whatever. It's just another crime that the police, You, I mean, you'll have the other people look at it like it's big government. Yeah. You'll have those people who are looking at it. It's like, you know. Well, let me ask you this. If, if a cop pulled up next to you in the street and told you you got a street, what would you do? If a Get on the what? street? Yeah. I'd probably get out of my car and get on the street. If no. What would you say? If, if, if a cop pulled up next to you because you're walking down the street and said, hey, get over on the sidewalk. Black cop. A black cop. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. White, uh, black, Mexican. Well, say You're going to get off the street, right? Oh, say for what? Come on. If there's a sidewalk, why the fuck are you on the street? Yeah, especially after you just robbed uh, the well store. Yeah, but my yeah. point being is a lot of the culture now, especially with, and I hate to say it, but it is in, in, in the minorities. 
they have this hatred with the cops that they, they don't want to listen. And if you're a cop right now, you, you, you're kind of running scared. It's not the race, it's the age. Well, you know, age, race. I think it's more in, in the poor communities like that. They, th and especially in that community, it seemed like they felt like the cops were always bothering them. But I mean, they're usually look, doing it is wrong. what it is. If you if you if you look at the I mean, if the nine times out of ten, you know. I mean well, that's what I'm that's saying. There's your statistics. When they say don't racially profile, but how can you not when? Ninety nine out of a hundred. This shit happens all the time. You yeah. have to. Next game, um, on that topic, black or white. Duo took selfie with pal who died of OD. Or, yeah. That's definitely Should a white guy. Should be from OD. Yeah, I was going to say. That's definitely white yeah. guy. Yeah, when you have ODing, it's only white. Yeah. Black now people don't OD. If it's an no. OD of, like, you know, some Colt 44 or something like that. <laughs> then you Didn't Lil Wayne OD or something from little, little taking going NyQuil on and yeah, uh, what alcohol is and purple juice or something? Something like that. <laughs> Were you falling asleep? If I did, I can understand why. Is I've been up all day. Listen, I've been up since 1 a.m. All right, so then let's yeah, just, we don't have uh, much left. Yeah. So this story, after their friend apparently died of drug overdose, two Missouri residents posted for a selfie with the corpse. White, um, Missouri. One yeah. of them uploaded this picture Trash. to Facebook after dumping the body on a road. Um, Very nice. Chelsea Berry, 24. <laughs> that must have been Skeeter and his brother. <laughs> Chelsea Berry, 24, told the cops that um, her friend Meyer expensive. began acting crazy after injecting himself with a painkiller, something I can't pronounce. Dilated. 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 Yeah, so basically. That's like the other day he, he did. Uh, he said, dumb, Speaking dumb. Of can't read. Dumb, 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 dumb. Instead of. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> he just kind of spelled it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm Sorry. looking at it from. Over. Sorry, Liege. <laughs> yeah. So basically, she called his friend who she met earlier in the day and was like, "Hey, you know, I think he's dead." So they decided to take a selfie. Um, they told That's the cops. That's the first thing I think of when someone dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barry claimed that she and her friend Pryor <laughs> body still were warm. scared to call for an ambulance <laughs> and did not want to take Nathan, or who is Meyer, to a hospital because she and her friend were high on meth and Xanax and thought they would get in trouble. Nice combo. It is. But, uh, show, did you hear his, uh, no. I didn't know what the body temperature was. That was his first thought. <laughs> <laughs> what? See Nothing. if you can get one more go around before <laughs> it starts to get too cold. <laughs> it's just well, awkward once it gets past. It the says <laughs> the duo drove to a back road and, quote, dragged Nathan, or, yeah, Nathan Meyer, from the front seat to the back seat because they did not want to look at him any longer and also the fact that he began to smell bad. Uh. But the meth mouth smells amazing, just to let you know. Speaking of that, oh, that, that was a what's new with me I should have mentioned earlier. I was at the local uh, Speaking gas station. Speaking of meth. <laughs> well, th exactly. This chick comes up to me while I'm trying to get uh, some. Nah, I forget what I was trying to buy. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, she comes up and she said, I just got told by the cops I had to come in here and get some water and walk home. It was so random. I was like, uh, what? And she said, her ex-boyfriend's girlfriend kicked her out of the car in the middle of the road, and she was walking in the middle of, uh, let's say, a major uh, state road 54 at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? And a cop pulled her over instead of, I don't know, testing her for God knows what, public intoxicants, anything. He tells her to go walk to the nearest gas station get a cup of water. Now, as she's talking to me, she has the worst meth mouth I have ever seen <laughs> in my life. And that stank from meth oh. is disgusting. And she is standing like an inch away from me, and was trying to get a ride from me. Are you sure it wasn't four inches? It could have been. It, it really could have been. Uh, <laughs> I got nothing. A solid four <laughs> inches at solid best. Four. At, at that point, he would have a solid four <laughs> inches with this one because she had hardly any teeth left. That would have got him right where he needed to be. Anyways, she's trying to get a <laughs> ride from Get a me. gum job. Trying to get a ride from me. Fi come to find out, she lives like two blocks from my house. <laughs> Still negative on the ride, but... I mean, I was just shocked that this chick lived in the same neighborhood as me. But total, total meth mouth, total crackhead. It was horrible. Oh, I have a new, what's new with me? 
that I forgot to mention. It's ooh, not really ooh, what to do ooh, with me. No, here. it's a fun story. It's a fun story. Yay. So I was coming home from my mom's the other day. We were actually driving from her house, and they had this whole part of Grand blocked off. That's right after the light. Uh-huh. So if you're coming this, this way, the guy that shot himself. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. I just ruin this your what's new with me? Yeah. My bad. Spoiler what? alert. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so this guy barricaded himself in another family's house. It wasn't his house. Um, and they guess I guess they were opening fire. Like, they had a SWAT team and all these police cars and the Dollar General right there. Um, the guy ended up killing himself. Oh. But, <laughs> oh, who would have guessed? One less neck. But that's right down the street from us. Literally. All right, so we got a uh, we got another title here, classic yeah, Florida. Yeah, after this general. house burns down completely, then we got people getting shot over Listen, here. Listen, on that day on the way home from Zephyr Hills, I had two cop cars blow by me, coming down about four down. inches on either side. Yeah, uh, I mean we're talking Zephyr Hills, so I didn't think nothing of it. And then I, they went up to seventy five. Then when I went to seventy five and came out on old fifty four, here comes another cop, ouch, hauling ass down fifty four. Then as I get to 41, here comes two more cops <laughs> flying For the grand down 54, situation? Going, going past 41. So I'm like, are all these cops heading to something over on the other side of Pasco County? And then as I get over here by the Pizza Hut, there was an ambulance and two more cop cars, and they were behind me. They never made it to me because I was up by the Hyundai. So is it something by, you know, the Wind dixie over there? Okay. Yeah, well, where that is, next light up, Grand, yeah, they were coming down there, over okay. by Madison, yeah. Th then uh, maybe all those cops were heading that way. But probably. Then, probably. F from Zephyr Hills? Well, they had Pasco County SWAT coming out, so right. anyone I mean, who's how on many SWAT. Times, I mean, uh, how many times did somebody go blow on by you, and that was like four times just on 54 coming home, and I found a couple days later somebody shot himself. So, yeah, that's that was what it was from. It must have been. This is from Florida. We're going to play another DeGaff game here. Uh, babysitter 22 got all stabby. When man refused to have sex with her. Uh, in the neck. 22-year-old Florida woman stabbed a man in the neck earlier this month after he declined her request to have sex. Um, she was barbecuing and drinking with friends at a Fort Pierce home on August 12th when white. trouble began. Why do you say white? Do you know Fort Pierce? No, but I think well, you're saying because of barbecue. Because I'll tell you what, uh, I would <laughs> think black because of barbecue. Yeah, they make some damn good barbecue. I'll I tell say you white. What, they make some damn good chicken. I, I say know. white. All right. So the witness said that he was lounging on the couch when Long and her last name no, Long. No, wait, wait, wait. It has to be white because if it would have been black, they wouldn't have. There would have been no no sex because those things are like rabbits. When Long and the victim <laughs> entered the residence, the suspect was screaming that she wanted the victim to have sex with her. But Sylvester, 32, declined Long's advances, telling her to go back where she had been all day and have and have sex. That's pretty bad. He basically called her a whore. Yeah. yeah. Long. Uh, Obviously, she's it begging for it. Away. He turns it. Uh, she subsequently followed Sylvester to a room where she allegedly grabbed the knife and started jabbing at him with the weapon. She then beckoned the witness, telling him that she had stabbed Sylvester and that he was leaking. Fuck me. Fuck me. Just stabbing and saying, I mean, come on. That sounds like a video that you're probably going to look up later. Her name. Little thing. Shakiria Anquinette Shan oh Shawn God, Long. You just ruined my white theory. Nickname Shasha. Uh, yeah, we're going to go black on that. Okay, I'm going to say black. I change like it. Straight off. Uh, never mind. Like midnight. I was say straight off the boat, but that's kind of racist, isn't it? All right, so next one here, you're going to like this one. And this actually goes with a story which I need to find a little bit more about and find a link, but there's someone that I work with who's actually been on the show, Plus One. Um, she had a friend up in Massachusetts who met a guy at a bar, was thinking about going home with him, apparently made out with him. Uh, next day de develops this crazy rash around her face. Oh, jeez. Apparently the rash... Because uh, the doctors were kind of like, uh, ass to mouth. Herbs. No, no, no. Infinitely worse. It's a disease that you only get from deceased bodies. The Wait, guy what? apparently was show? making out and banging dead bodies in his house of people that he'd like, you know, killed. And sh he was trying to get her to go home with him. So he could kill her. And Essentially. So I need to find out. I want to find that story and I want to put it. You know, I want to actually know that find that. Could, you could get some kind of disease from that. That's uh, crazy. I mean, I, I'm assuming. Well, th this story, th this you is great. You can get diseases from eating people. Ohio yeah. man admits to having yeah. sex with up to 100 dead women. Up to 100. Oh, an Ohio morgue attendant That's has admitted having sex with up to 100 oh. corpses. Why do you think everyone wants to be cremated now? 
Kenneth Douglas from Hamilton, Ohio, said he had sexually abused three corpses while high on drugs and alcohol in 91 and 92. But he has also admitted having sex with up to 100 dead women over the period between 1976 and 1992 while he worked the night shift. I would just get on top of him and pull my pants down, Hamilton night told a court. Of he was a morgue word. attendant. Well, apparently the temperature didn't matter to him. Yeah, you gotta be, you got to be kind of wrong in the head to have the night shift at a morgue for, you know, or a funeral home. And you're down there by yourself in this weird environment with all these dead people. You're obviously already screwed in the head. And then you just see all these dead women. Uh, it's, oh. I mean, it happens yeah. so often. How old was the guy? Oh. Uh, yeah, because I'd say 90% of those dead women were probably like 90 years old anyway. At that point, it doesn't matter, right? As long oh, as it's not too mean, cold. I actually don't matter. have a name, but if you look at you him, he's probably... He's probably yeah. in his late 50s, 60s. Do you think he brought lubrication oh. to work with him? Oh. Jesus. Now, here, here's a couple. His victims included 23-year-old Charlene Appling, with whom he had sex with on the day she died after being strangled while six months pregnant. And oh. another victim was 19-year-old Karen Range. Douglas was caught when DNA from his semen was found inside her body. Ugh. Are you serious? His That's crimes only came to light when the killer of Range, David <laughs> Steffen, appealed his conviction for rape and murder. Ugh. Well, wait, so he killed her, but he's like, DNA look, I killed there. her, but I sure did not rape her after I did. And they found DNA that didn't match the other guy, and they, and they just questioned, uh. well, 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 hey, let's question the more guy. Maybe he was fucking her. I mean, what made him catch him? Uh. Because they tested the semen. Yeah, how would they know what his semen is? He could have been, been a previous uh, convict. Well, then again, I it mean, was probably way more fresh semen you, than... If you screw 100 dead women at some point, you got to get in trouble for something else. He might have had a job where he had to be fingerprinted. They might require it for him to work they in Actually, morgue. they may require it to work in a morgue. Right. So they probably have that on file. But still, uh, they, they exhume a body to check for something else, and they find another man's DNA in there. What makes them think it's the morgue guy's DNA? They run it in the system, they and it pops up. What do you mean? They, it your, was DNA, a match. your DNA is not in any system. She just explained how his okay, let's might have let's to be say in this there. Your DNA you is Are not going to be in a Listen. system anywhere. Yes, your it is. Your fingerprint, not your DNA. Okay. When you work at certain jobs, mm -hmm. they require you to give your fingerprint. They require you to give some kind of DNA sample. sample. No. Some kind Tell of sample. Tell me any job that requires you well, to give a DNA sample. sample, maybe, but... That's okay. not DNA. I've got a job for no, you. A convicted felon, it is a law for them to have their DNA. Well, if he was I've prosecuted before, that. if he had you don't, you messed don't. up before, they How would the have it. How the fuck do you think they find all these people? Because well, if you're a convicted felon, your DNA is in uh, the system. I, I, my DNA, no one has my DNA. Are you a convicted felon? No. So Your brother-in-law might get it someday. So yeah, maybe. It already so is in there. Also, so is this guy a convicted felon? Hey, That's also in this case, if the murderer is saying, "Look, I did not rape this woman," um, who else has come in contact with her body? The Moore guy, obviously, just for safety reasons, that they're going to so get everybody involved. Like out there, like, hmm, it's not because he's the only one who would have seen that body I mean, after it was, you know, taken off the scene. Your DNA, your DNA profile is just, it's going to be like fingerprints in the next, like, 10 years. Anyone who's been, you know, convicted of anything or had a certain job or for some reason got their DNA in a system, questioned or anything, this guy could have been questioned on an uninvolved incident five years ago, and they took a sample of his DNA, and once they took a sample of it, it is in the system. So the minute his that DNA gets entered into the system, oh, look, a match. Period. The end. There's probably twenty thousand different ways for him to get the DNA in the and system. And if you want to have a really bad image, you can always think that they could have found, I don't know, a piece of skin, a piece of hair, pubic hair. I mean, anything that was left on the body would lead them to him. We're talking about this for far too long. Yeah, that, 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 that was a little. Yeah, little I got the last thing here. Uh, got Disney files patent applications to use drones at parks. What kind of drones? Drones to enhance its nightly entertainment. Uh, they want to use drones that can carry marionettes, projection screens, and even act as flying pixels. So they want to use these drones. To keep an eye on the park. Well, no. For nightly entertainment, of course. Slash. But over, I mean, you got to think. What if one of those fails and falls on somebody? <laughs> I hope it doesn't kill it's me. It's going to be turned to Greenland instead of Disneyland. <laughs> 
I mean, it's one of those things that they say that is completely safe. There is no way that it, well, I mean, you know, you know just like what happens technology is reliable. If two 500 pounder goes on the, you know, the the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I mean, you're sinking. I mean, you know, shit happens at Disney World. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I mean how many people died on Space Mountain? Several. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah we've looked it, that it up happens. once. Yeah, but yeah, it's one of those things that I, I mean, I don't know. My mom, I'd, I'd want to be under it. My honestly. mom actually went there oh. the day before the, that the first death on Space Mountain happened. Really? And rode on it. Yeah. Space Mountain's too jerky. I'm not a really big fan of that ride. Kind of like I don't like Gwazi at Busch Gardens. I hate too. the Hulk at Islands of Adventure. I don't, I, I don't do uh, roller coasters, not because of the size issue. Uh, I've always had an issue with the height, especially with dangling rides. I can't deal with it because I'm always afraid I'm going to lose both my legs. Hey, show. Uh, when's the last time you were allowed to go on a roller coaster? Wow. It's pretty mm. ballsy. Hmm. Oh, you see. <laughs> the show doesn't have a problem with Does the dangling the issue, scout? if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know. Ten? I actually did go on one. I, I got Eleven? sick. I never go on because I get, I get Which motion ride? sickness. You know, you know one ride I don't Kumba. like? Uh, Kumba. I went on. Oh, Kumba gives me really bad headaches. Um, Which one was that? Was that? That's not the wooden one, is it? No, it's Gwazi. I don't like Gwazi. Gwazi, yeah. Uh, Kumba was their original, not oh one yeah. of the originals, but it's the oldest of the new roller coasters. Yeah, yeah, okay, I remember. Um, the one I don't like is the one that it almost looks like a uh, UFO, and you go in there, it's called like Gravitron or something, and you go so fast that you can like turn upside oh, down. Yeah, yeah. I get super sick yeah, and oh stuff yeah. like that. I can't handle spinning stuff. I, fir- I think uh, I, I went to the, uh, the fair with Bulldog. And uh, and I think it was his little brother, you know, kind of a family outing for them. And uh, he tried talking me into it. Did not happen. And as they are all exiting, I believe maybe three out of four of them uh, decided that having the uh, funnel cake before riding on that was, <laughs> was a bad decision. And I believe one of them did not make it out of the ride before it happened. All right. So uh, does anyone have anything else before uh, we leave? Hopefully we can actually end this on a good note on uh, YouTube and not cut us off like apparently yeah, we've I want to see what lately. you put down as what our topics are. Necrophilia, uh, <laughs> nine-year-olds uh, murdering their instructors, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you'll see that because by the time I actually get to upload this, I don't think you'll be here. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, next week we're not going to have a show because we're going to be in Disney and we'll see show there. Maybe we'll see you by the pool show. Maybe me and you can get in our uh, birthday suits in the pool or the jacuzzi. Oh, there you go. There's what? a show no, for I you. No, I did just not initiate that your, one. Just bring your uh, set, uh, set up there. And did you, you just invite show to uh, get naked happened. with you in the jacuzzi? Maybe. Yeah. See, the funny part of that about that, though, is once show exits the jacuzzi, it will no longer be called the jacuzzi, but a uh, waterless pond. <laughs> This is coming from someone who's not much smaller than me. <laughs> Listen, I make up for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not much smaller. Oh. I'd say at least four inches smaller around the waist. Yeah. Maybe wow. four. All right. One of these days. Really? One of these days. Oh, well, I mean, if you want to be literal about it, I <laughs> don't know. We can measure I mean, you guys if you really want to know. I mean, one of these days. I'm just going to fuck you, and so it just you'll see that it's not four inches. <laughs> How's that? Now, that, that's gay. You are not going to know. Now, getting in a hot tub naked, that's pretty gay. That's so much for that was your idea. Right sure. Straight you on threatening to me. rape my well, fiance. I, I just want to dispel the four-inch myth, and that would be the best way to do it is just for you to experience no, it. No, no. There's something very wrong with you. <laughs> Very wrong with you. Well, uh, would you like to take his turn? No, I would not. Okay. <laughs> no one needs to be fucked by you except for your wife. Like, I'm sorry. Or her brother. She's a family affair. She'd let me. Either way, you or him. That's really funny. Oh, man. Oh, All right. So, uh, oh. so until next time.